today I have an X Factor choice pack, an Icon choice pack, and a free to play team update for you. What's going on, guys? Thrash here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. We are here on my no money spent squad, and I'm going to go through a team update, let you guys see everything that's happened over the last couple weeks. And I have two choice packs to open up to see if I can add anyone to that team. Now, with Team of the Year just about over, I was able to scrounge together enough to get a Team of the Year player. However, that meant moving players off my team. Then, in yesterday's pack opening, I actually had some really good luck and was able to trade all that stuff in to make a new MSP. Before we get into the team update, though, we have these packs to open. X-Factor Player Choice Pack and a Power of Icon Choice Pack. The X-Factor Pack, I mean, McDavid would be great. I wouldn't mind McKinnon. I don't really have many of the, the better X-Factors on this one. I have Crosby. And I think he's the only one that, like, I need to have, right? I have Larkin, but, you know, he's my captain and everything. But, I mean, I don't have McDavid. I don't have McKinnon. I don't have any of the top guys. So, today could be huge for the team. X-Factor player choice pack. Let's go. Give me something huge. Give me somebody I can start working on. Give me somebody for the team. Who do we have? Let's go back to front and see who we get. Card number one, Hillary Knight. I don't think I will be taking Hillary Knight. Unfortunately, that shot, that 81... Wrist shot power and 80 slap shot power at 89 overall. I don't think I'm taking her. Card number two is uh, Patrick Kane. Could be all right, but I just don't see a scenario. Like, I like his card. Don't worry, like, I like Patrick Kane, but, like, do I do I waste all my resources on Kane? You know what I mean? Ah, oh, jeez. All right. I need this one to hit. McDavid, McKinnon, I'll take Matthews. I wouldn't mind like a center or a left-handed defenseman. I would, either one of those would be great. Please. Oh, it's glitched. <laughs> All right, we're back. That was the dumbest thing. I, I don't understand how this is not fixed. I don't understand how there's so many bugs and glitches in the game this year. It just doesn't, doesn't compute. We know it's Hillary Knight. We know it's Patrick Kane. And now, Connor McDavid, card number three. That's not great either, actually. Kachuk, Kane, and Knight. This is not a good choice pack. I don't think I care who I'm taking. I'll just take Kachuk. I'm not going to be adding him to the team, though. None of these players are being added. That that sucks. All right, well, power up icon choice pack. In this one, we already have Gretzky, so I wouldn't mind Mario Lemieux. Some other cards I'm really looking for. Paul Coffey, Nick Lidstrom, Steve Eiserman, and, of course, Timu Solani. Any of those cards would be absolutely huge for my team, so... Let's get someone good here. Let, let, the X Factor Choice Pack didn't work out. Let's do better with the Power Up Icon. You know what? We went back to front. Let's go front to back for this. So card number one, Ryan Smith at 82 overall. All right, we're off to a great start here. Uh, I mean, honestly, for the price, he's not a terrible card. Like at 87, he has decent skating. He'll be he'll be an 88 soon, but no, I'm not taking Ryan Smith. Card number two, it's got to be better, right? Okay, it's marginally better with Al McInnes. Is that better, though? He's, he's all right. Oh, my God, man. Come on. Okay, there's no way it can be worse than this. You're going to give me at least, like, an 85 or an 86. Somebody I can add on my team, right? Just somebody I can use. <laughs> oh, my God, Wendell Clark. This is one of the worst choice packs I've seen this year. I'm going to take Al McInnes because he's the highest rated, but... Another one of those situations where, yeah, I'm not going to be adding him to my team. Well, guys, nobody being added to the squad from those, but let's go ahead and go through a team update. Well, my first line, I have uh, Matthew Barzell on the right wing at 89 overall. And you guys are like, that's not really that good. He's got 97 speed and he'll be a 90 soon. It's a great card. Matthew Barzell is an amazing card and he's very good for me. So, yeah, I know 89, not crazy. Here's my first line center. Yeah, I got this card. I don't know how I had this card. I, I got the luckiest I've ever been in a pack. I had it, I think it was an 82 overall choice pack. And his MSP was in it. And he just keeps going up. He just keeps going up. And he's now a 97. Two more goals. He'll be a 99. Pretty much everything. I cannot wait for this card to keep going up. But yeah, I mean, Timmy Stu. Pretty damn good card. And the team of the year I was able to make, guys. Connor McDavid. Actually, I had the choice pack, and I got lucky and had McDavid in the choice pack. You guys actually, you've seen the video. I, I made the video on here, but yeah, I had to take Connor McDavid here, and I am extremely happy that I have McDavid on this team. I just realized I was wanting the uh, McDavid X-Factor. There was absolutely no reason for me to get his X-Factor, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. Line number two, we have Jack Eichel at 90 overall. This is actually one of the better cards in the game. Didn't think I was going to like him, but he is very good. He has like a, a weird skating animation, but it, it works out. I really do like Eichel's card. We have Sidney Crosby, my favorite card in the game right now. He has 491 points in 392 games. 
This is legitimately my favorite card in the game on both my accounts, my main team and my free-to-play team. This is my favorite card. And this winger is Wayne Gretzky. So I actually have a really solid top six here. Gretzky, Crosby, McDavid, Stutzla. Like, I'm doing really well. Line three, we start with Timo Solani. Now, I wanted his power-up icon. His icon card is much better than his MSP. For now, I'll use his MSP. It's, it's fast, really good shot. I mean, I can't complain with Timo Solani at any point, right? We have Peter Forsberg down the middle. Really like Forsberg's card as well. Didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but he's been very solid. And then we have Dylan Larkin, my captain on my favorite team for now until he gets traded. But I'm very happy with Larkin. I like him on both teams. And if I could have him on all four of my accounts, I totally would. Line number four, Shane Wright, the 90 overall fantasy card from the World Juniors. He got his upgrade and he is very damn good. I want to get this other synergy active, but I don't have anyone else with Wingman. But for now, I mean, he's on the fourth line. I'm not expecting too much, but this is a card I can see being on the team for a long time simply because he was a cheap option at 90 overall. I'm free to play. When am I going to have another chance to have a 90 overall for free? My center is Patrice Bergeron for now. I've been saying it for a long time, but I want to get rid of this card. And I still want to get rid of this card on both of my accounts, but no one has come along to take a spot yet. We'll see what happens with the next event. Patrice Bergeron on his way out on both my teams. And last but not least, Tebu Teravainen. So, Jared McCann has been traded in. That's how I was able to get the collectibles for the Connor McDavid. Definitely worth it. And uh, Tebu, he's been really good. I really can't complain with him. Now, my defense isn't nearly as strong. We have OEL. Again, a uh, new event coming up. Hopefully, I can make one or two of the MSPs. They should be 91 overall. If that's the case, I should be able to get at least one new defenseman. We have Mackenzie Weger, who I absolutely love and is probably going nowhere for a very long time. I don't know if it's the truculence and shutdown combination or what, but I love this card. Uh, we have Jacob Slavin, who can go. Uh, again, I have OEL and Slavin both on the chopping block. Then we have Cal Addison. I don't really like the card, but if he scores a couple more goals in real life, it could be really good. I... I mean, if he can get two goals, he'll have 94 speed and excel. He'll have a really good shot, like 99 shot power. I just need him to get two more goals. We got Thomas Shabbat. This is the newest MSP I made. I don't have him all the way up. I don't have quite enough to get him there, but he's already got all the speed boost. He will get upgraded again, as uh, I really do like his card so far. He's fun to play with. I tried him out on my main team for a little bit there, and I did like him. So I'm glad to have uh, the starting building blocks for this one. Last but not least, Chris Letang, who will likely be the next one to go on the right side. I don't see myself getting rid of Addison, obviously, because he can continue going up. And I love Mackenzie Weger. So my next right-handed defenseman to go will be Latang. My left and I mean I can get rid of either of these left-handed defensemen. I'm not I'm not tied to either of them. So Shabbat will be around for a while, but these two, give or take, I don't really care. And net, I'm using Vili Husso. I uh, don't really like him, but he's a goalie. And I don't think I'm gonna like any goalie. So I might as well use the red wing with decent synergies. I, I don't think goalies matter whatsoever. I've used a billion different goalies. They all seem to play the same. For synergies, I have Gladiator, Workhorse, Fly the Zone, Protector, Thief, Light the Lamp, and Buzzing. A lot of synergies active. And for abilities, Slavin has Shutdown and Quick Pick. Uyghur with Truculence and Shutdown. McDavid has Wheels and he has Close Quarters. Huso with Butterfly Effect. Shabbat has Shutdown. OEL has Stick'em Up. Latang has Stick'em Up. Forsberg has No Contest. And Crosby has Beauty Backhand. Oh yeah, Beauty Backhand on right as well. Sorry, I snuck that in. Nothing else than anyone else, but don't think I need anything else. Last week in champs, I went 15-5, and five, so a pretty solid week. This is the team I used as well, like no real changes besides Stutzla getting an upgrade. And then Thomas Shabbat coming in as I was using base Quinn Hughes after the upgrade to uh, getting Connor McDavid's team of the year, sorry. After that, like I didn't have anyone else, so uh, base Quinn Hughes did the job until, uh, until now, and now we have Shabbat. So that's my free-to-play team here on PS4. My main team's on PS5, my pay-to-win team, and I, I mean, I, I wish I could just transfer some of these cards to PS5 like the Stutzla and the Gretzky. Imagine how good my main team would be. But for now, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think of my free-to-play team. I don't actually play a lot. Hold on. I'll tell you how many games I've played this year, and this is including squad battles because I do play three or four games of squad battles a week just to get a couple extra packs. I played under 400 games. I, I don't play a lot on this account, but I because I have decent rewards every week, I'm able to build all these MSPs. And again, a lot of the cards I've gotten are the free ones, the Terravine and, and, and whatnot. Like, I've gotten a lot of free cards from the game just by grinding as well. So that's something to keep in mind, that if you are looking to not spend money on this game, focus on finishing the objectives. You get a lot of coins for doing the objectives, and you can complete uh, certain objectives to get cards, actually, for your team or collectibles to upgrade uh, certain cards. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Regardless, I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.